Hello everyone and welcome in. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. Today we're looking into Gemini's general guidance message for the upcoming week. Now if you find the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Also guys, if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome here and it does help to set intentions for future messages. And at the end of the reading, I'm going to pull out my pendulum for you to ask a yes or no question. Be sure to hold the question in your mind until the end. So let's dive in. Most important message here for Gemini spirit. What do my Gemini friends need to know? What do they need to see for this upcoming week? and thank you. So the energy surrounding you, Gemini, the Ace of Swords, the Devil, and the Five of Cups, coming to the realization that something, something is holding you back from accomplishing what it is that you truly desire. Maybe this is someone, for some of you this may be a behavior pattern, an internal thing the devil energy for some of you this could be a person in your life i do feel like this is something that you're kind of you're looking at very clearly at this time awareness is the key even if you don't know how to change how to shift this energy gemini it is a good thing that you're becoming aware of this like you're becoming aware of what's not working now, right now there is a little bit of sadness a little bit of a regret and I challenge you to shift your thinking on this because every challenge that we go through in our life comes with a lesson to be learned, okay? Comes with a little bit of truth, a little bit of clarity, a little bit of, a little bit of honesty within ourselves. It also helps us to gain an understanding of what we need to focus on in order to move forward in our life. Now, the challenge here this involves a person that you hold dear to your heart. Now, this could be a family member. This could be a lover. But it's like you want this to work so bad, but you realize that you can't advance to the next level in your life until you're able to let this go. So let's clarify. We're going to start here with the Ace of Swords, the Devil, and the Five of Cups. Now again, guys, if you find the messages helpful or if it's resonating for you, please give it a thumbs up. Definitely feel like, guys, this is, if this doesn't have to directly involve a person, this somehow affects a person who you love, and this is definitely causing this awareness, okay? Now, can you make this work? Can you and this person both advance to the next level together? Only time will tell. I feel like you're being called to be alone at this time, okay? To clear this confusion, to clear this uncertainty. You have to gain clarity in order to move to that next phase, in order to level up, if you will. Some of you are trying to build some sort of business, create some sort of community, some sort of following. Let's clarify the Three of Pentacles, the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. This is like you're trying to become grounded. You're trying to look at this, but it's like the calm and the storm right now. You feel like something's coming. You can't quite put your finger on it, Gemini. But you're, this all is about to be revealed in time. Now, what does this have to do with you or anything that you have going on in your life? 
right now, you're trying to get clear on what you want your life to look like, on who's going to come along this journey with you and who you're going to separate yourself from. Maybe even gaining clarity on what you want that long-term vision to look like, where you want to focus your energy and attention as far as work, as far as career. Some of you may be going through some sort of career change and are becoming aware that this toxic behavior pattern is holding you back and it is involving another person who you hold dear to your heart. You are understanding that in order to detach from this toxic situation, you may have to put some distance between you and this person at this time. Again, there is this intense connection that you feel with this specific person that's coming up in this reading, Gemini, and it's like you don't want to disconnect from this. How can I have my cake and eat it too? In the outcome, there is something that you're having to leave behind in order to move forward, and you are aware of this. It's like you're postponing the process. For those of you that are holding on, that are not letting go, not letting the shift take place, it's because you don't want to leave, you don't want to feel like you're leaving this person behind or like you're abandoning them. Maybe there were promises that were made with that Five of Pentacles energy. Take some time meditate on this because I feel like your perspective may shift immensely with some information that's about to be revealed. Let's pull a few cards out here for your spiritual advice moving forward on how to overcome this challenge because I right now Gemini there's a lot of confusion a lot of uncertainty about where do I go, what my next move is going to be, am I making the right decision? If there's any confusion, if there's any uncertainty, it's okay to take a step back to figure this all out. If this person was meant to be in your life, they're going to be there waiting for you when you figure this out. And if they're not meant to be in your life, then you're only postponing the pain by holding on. Okay. Some of you, this is a soulmate connection. There, this person is you're meant to learn multiple lessons with. However, it's shrouded. You see the nine of swords, the nine of wands. It's like a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, a lot of worry. There's been a lot of water under this bridge, a lot of complications in this relationship. You really want to feel rewarded with this person, and so do they, but how do we get on the same page is really what it boils down to. And to be honest with you, Gemini, it's difficult, right? Because we have certain expectations that we have and want our relationship to look like. But when there's this type of an energy, the soulmate connection, we have a tendency to overstep our boundaries to make it work. And so you have to obviously come to that determination within yourself, but understanding you're going to give this person a lot more chances than you normally would in any other relationship. And so don't beat yourself up over the chances. The one more tries, the one more tries. There doesn't have to be... I know people, there has to be a limit to the BS, but if this person is actively working to change their behavior, and you can see that they're working to change their behavior, and you feel like they're being honest about that, it's okay to allow this to unfold. However, if this person is being manipulative, if there's deception, if there's lies, if there's cheating, and you know that you don't want to be in a situation where a person's lying, where a person is cheating, it's okay to take a step back. This person is going to feel that energetic shift, and it's going to give you an opportunity to set that boundary to say, hey, this is something that I'm not going to be okay with in my relationships. have a decision to make obviously if you want to 
recalibrate your energy. If you want to get clear on where you're headed in business and career, and you feel like this person is distracting you from that, it's okay to take some space as long as you're communicating the space that you need appropriately. It's when we ghost each other, when we don't talk, when we don't communicate about our needs that there's confusion, there's misinterpretation of our desires because we don't, we're not open about what we want and about where our energy is headed. Okay? We're going to pull out a soul journey message for these readings and the one that came out for you, Gemini, is loneliness. I know that I am never alone. This card has come to you because you must be reminded there's a difference between being lonely and being alone. Feelings of loneliness originate from a sense of not appreciating the most important person in your life, you. If solitude seems like an affliction, you need to work on creating a healthy relationship with yourself. Only then will you attract others who will nurture your soul. If you don't develop a healthy relationship within yourself first, you will only draw unhealthy relationships to you. To create a healthy, positive relationship within yourself, you must begin to feel worthy of love. The pessimism of this physical dimension can affect your self-esteem. If you don't have a strong conviction that you're valuable and meaningful, don't view solitude as weakness. It is merely your soul telling you that it is time to do some inner work and reevaluate your path before you start to shine. As you sit in the silence of your soul, you will realize that your spirit family, teachers, and guides are with you and that you are never alone. I definitely feel like, and even if it's like taking a day to figure this out and recalibrate your energy. I'm not saying that you need to separate for months from this person. Gemini, I feel like there just needs to be a little bit of space so you can come to this understanding within yourself of what needs to take place in order to move forward. For some of you, this person is holding you back from the person you're meant to be with. The energy that's coming out here is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We also have earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Capricorn heavily with the devil energy, um, and Virgo with the Empress. So those are the signs that are present. It can be any sign, guys. Lovers is Gemini, Temperance is Sagittarius. It could be any one of the signs. It doesn't have to be one of those specific signs. The main message coming out here, Gemini, is this person that you feel this intense connection with is also part of the disruption. And so... You have a big decision to make. Putting yourself first is what's important here, is what's the key. And if this person is meant to come along, they will. If not, then oh well. So Gemini, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out for you guys. We're going to get you a second to hold that yes or no question in your mind until the end. Or we are at the end, so hold that question in your mind. Thank you guys again for all the love and support. For information on the rituals that we do here every full moon and new moon, for ritual kits, for personal readings, and the drawing that we're going to do at 20,000 subscribers, please check below in the description box. If you found the messages helpful, if it's resonating for you, you can give it a thumbs up or comment below how it was helpful. You never know how your story could help another person. important message here for Gemini spirit. What do my Gemini friends need to know? It's a yes. That is a yes. It's Gemini. Thank you guys again for liking, subscribing, for sharing time and space with me, and I look forward to reading your cards again soon. Namaste.